you can make a black hole out of cotton candy. Now, you might be thinking, oh well, but you can make a black hole out of anything if you can push it down enough. But don't be mistaken, I meant uncompressed cotton candy. Yeah, that puffy stuff that's basically thinner with a sprinkle of calories. Let me tell you why. As you might know, to make something into a black hole, we need to pack its mass into an object with radius smaller than the Schwarzschild radius for that mass. Past that point, it will inevitably collapse into an infinitely dense singularity. And to know that radius, we have this equation. As you can see, the smaller the mass, the smaller the required radius. However, we can actually transform this into an equation that, given any density, however small, gives us our critical radius. Bear with me. So first, we turn this mass into the density times volume of a sphere, and the volume will be 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. Then we cancel out this r, isolate r squared, and finally take the square root of the other side to solve for our radius. And this new equation allows us to choose any density, rho, to get how big a sphere we'd need for its own gravitational attraction to compress it into a black hole. As an example, let's take cotton candy. It has a density of about 50 kilograms per cubic meter. So let's plug that in. Substituting all the constants with their values on operating, we get a radius of about 1.8 trillion meters. For reference, if you put such a sphere at the center of the solar system, it'll completely engulf Saturn's orbit. And take good note of this equation, because you can use it if you ever wonder how big a ball of any weird substance you can imagine, I won't judge, would collapse into a black hole. And because it tells you that, indeed, 